evening, Andy. VK5 MIR, VK3 DBL. Just listening for you. Heard your packets and thought you might be within range. Tracking you at about 90 degrees from my location. Name is Steve, Andy. Go ahead. How do you do, Steve? Uh, I've just been in contact with someone from Melbourne. I've only actually had a couple of people from Melbourne. There's been a few people from Melbourne, but only a couple from Melbourne. Uh, how things down there? Got some hot weather? Over. Very warm today, Andy. About 35 degrees and anticipating about 40 tomorrow, so it's, it's very warm and very dry. Got a bit of an audience here, Andy, and a video camera going, so it's quite a, um, a good contact for me. I won't hold you. Um, nice to make the hook up, and I briefly spoke to you on the Thursday last week that you were just dropping out of your pass, and I think you acknowledged me, but it was about as far as it went. VK5 MIR, VK3 DDL. Oh, copy that. Well, greetings to uh, everybody who's got there. I'm glad I was able to uh, come by and pick up the, uh, the microphone. I had a little bit of break in my work day uh, after lunch here and thought I'd just check if anyone was listening in uh, as we fly south of Australia there. Yeah, I know about the hot weather. Other people have been saying about it. It's been very hot in South Australia too. Uh, kind of unusual for this time of year. Uh, over. A little bit late for it to be this warm, that's true. Um, however, it's, it's probably not long before we start to see some cooler weather. What have you been up to today, Andy? You into the exercise routine still? I believe you spend about four hours a day on the treadmill. Go ahead. Uh, no, it's not as much as that, I'm glad to say. I don't think I'd be able to take four hours a day of, uh, on a treadmill with, without much of a view on our treadmill. Uh, I do about 20 or 30 minutes uh, exercise uh, on the treadmill. I haven't done it yet today because I'm actually doing a, uh, an exercise test later in the day uh, uh, just to check performance to make sure that everything's okay. So I'm holding off for that. Uh, today I've just been running some experiments, uh, doing some materials processing, running a biological experiment, uh, looking out the window and doing some uh, <coughs> housework. It has to be done up here too, you know. Over. I can well imagine, I can well imagine, and uh, tell me, is there much of a view? I guess you're looking pretty well over darkness at the moment, Andy, um, but uh, is there much of a view from where you're sitting at the moment? Go ahead. Uh, just at this point, no. Uh, it's dark outside. I'm in the Peroda module. There's a window right in front of me, but uh, it's quite dark outside. Uh, there's a little bit of light coming in from the Certainly a large city. Uh, stand by, maybe it's not Melbourne. Uh, do you have a computer for you? Tell me where I am, over. I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not actually running the software for tracking at the moment, Andy. Um, you'd be somewhat east of me by now. I'd suggest probably nearing the end of your pass. So I'd say you'd be somewhere out over um, the coast between Sydney and Melbourne. Does that make sense? Go ahead. Uh, copy that. That's probably what I'm seeing now. You can see Melbourne in the distance and uh, you can see Sydney closer in. Yeah, that's, that's unquestionably what I'm seeing. No problem, VK5 MIR, VK3 DBL. Getting a bit noisy, Andy. I won't hold it with you. Thank you very much for the contact. I do appreciate being able to speak with you. I'm extremely pleased with the fact that I've been able to get you for a decent time. Um, listening for you next time, Andy, and um, much appreciate the contact. VK5 MIR, VK3 DBL. Cheers. Okay, Steve, and to everyone uh, listening in there with Steve, thanks very much for the contact too. VK5 MIR, clear. Thanks, Andy. Thanks for the chat with me. 73. My RBK3 Bravo, West New Zealand. VK2 HV, go ahead to VK5 MIR. Okay. Well, how about that? Unbelievable. A five minute contact with, well, a three minute contact with Mia. Absolutely awesome. Hmm. Um, um, He's talking to someone in New South Wales. Copy that. Uh, where does your computer say I am right now, Paul? Over. I'll oh, just have a look at that. Um, Absolutely awesome. Just get out of this. Oh, God. Yeah. That's freaky. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, that's just out of this world. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have my computer, at least not right here. It's in another part of the module, so I can't see. But uh, 
I was just telling the uh, previous contact that I could see some lights, which I guess must be Sydney uh, and the East Coast. Ah, right, he's way out over the Pacific now. Andy Thomas. Over New Guinea. Uh, over. Uh, he's at five, to, actually, according to my map, he's off the scale. He's, he's actually gone past us, so I think maybe my computer elements are a bit out of, a bit out of whack. Anyway, he's, he's northeast of us. Press the stop. Oh, no, let it go. Oh, absolutely awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, three. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry. It's just too, too unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Me. And so that's the end of it. He's gone. Well, there you go. Come here.